guys. So I unboxed this yesterday. And uh, you'll see the video in a second. But I wanted to show you the final result. I figured for people who don't watch my super long videos, this might be helpful. So this came in from Caviso Outdoors. I want to give them a big thank you. They sent me this to uh, review and keep, which is really cool of them, honestly. Um, this thing's pretty big and heavy and um, probably cost a decent amount. Um, if you want one, I'll link it down below. I think I just uh, linked my Amazon affiliate stuff with them. I don't have a discount code or anything with them. So um, this is a sort of valet uh, and storage thing. It's pretty cool. So you have this drawer down here. These are actually two separate pieces. This will lift out. You'll see in the unboxing. Uh, and you have a pretty big drawer down here. So I put a bunch of different fidgets. I kind of got rid of my makeup organizer thing for the fidgets and decided to use this. Um, so I have a bunch of stuff in here. I have some pouches down here. Over here I took out, uh, there's a pen holder that goes in here and you'll see that in the unboxing. I took that out and put it down here. So if, if I took all of this out, um, there'd be a lot more room back there as well. I just don't need it currently, so I'm just trying to utilize the space the best I can. Then you have a lock here. There is a key that comes with it. And this glass lid pops up, which is really cool. Um, and then you have a bunch of storage in here as well. You'll see I kind of uh, filled this up with fidgets. Uh, these are watch holding things, uh, but I found it kind of cool to rest a fidget on there, kind of displays the fidget, whichever one you want to display. These are all uh, haptic coins. Uh, well, this one's actually a uh, slider coin, but dope nonetheless. And then I have my little chickadee right here. This is where that pen holder was. So the pen holder kind of sat right here and you could put two pens on it, you know, like that. Um, and then you could have slid something in the front here, I think, but, uh, this just seemed to make more sense for me. Then down here, I have a bunch of other fidgets, just kind of let them hang down there. Um, and then you have this cool sort of knife, uh, section right here. I did have another one. Hold on. I had this guy. Northwoods Leatherworks Co. Slip and the traditional pocketknives.com. Ohio River Jack. And then I have all my Jack Wolves right here. Well, not all of them. There is one other one that I don't have there. So that's the lineup of Jack Wolves. I'm already out of room, basically. But this lifts up, too. And you actually have room for more stuff back here, including, if you can't see there, there's a spot to run cords. So if you wanted to use it to charge something or keep something that has power in there or just, you know, I don't know what, but it's cool that it has the option. So there's a look at the valet slash storage box from Caviso. And uh, here comes the unboxing, guys. Thank you for watching. Hey, guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing to do for you. So this one comes from Caviso Outdoors. And it's a big ass box over here, so hang on a second, I'm gonna cut into it. It's a new sort of valet station or something they have. And I don't know if it's enormous or what. They also offered to send me a boker knife. So we'll check that out, but I wanna check this thing out first. Using the Rosecraft Blades Monster. I wanted to say Monster Dog, but I think it's called the um, Pocket Monster to unbox it. I actually really like this knife. Cheap little knife, but it's good. Oh my God, this thing's huge. Okay, I think it comes in parts, so just bear with me, guys. Some kind of, I'm going to have to zoom out. It's got some kind of, um, I don't know what. ballet thing i will be linking this on amazon i guess okay that was one box there's another box in the box
Okay, I think that's it. Pretty sure that's it. I didn't realize this was going to be enormous, so... I mean, I realized once the box showed up, but not when I said yes. Okay. This, I believe, goes... I'm going to have to lift this up. Hang on a second. Leave it slots into this piece, right? Does it? Yeah, it's pretty locked in there. I can't even get it off now. This comes. Oh, there's glass. Okay, there's a little lock to open this. Oh wow. Okay. There's keys. We got keys. Sulfur pack. Did I say sulfur? Silica. So, you can lock this door thing, I guess. And then, hold on. And then there's like a drawer down here. This is crazy. Man, you can pull these out of that drawer. Or obviously leave them in. Cool. Drawer at the bottom. And this at the top that opens up. So let me open it. Whee! Me. Okay. Opens up like that. And here we go. So this comes out. I think this holds pens. Man, that's weighty too. It's like it's got some weight to it. But you could take that out, and now you have room there for whatever you want. Right here, you could put knives, obviously, I would guess. All of this comes out, and then you have more storage underneath, which is really cool. All of these are sort of modular, which I like, for sure. And they have weight, so they're not just, like, you know, moving around all over the place. You have these for your... Um, Watches. I only have one watch that I wear every day, so I would probably take these out and put something else in it. Um, pen, so you could take... There it is. Oops. Take your pen, put it right there. You take your watch. Let me grab this. Take your watch, and you would put it wrapped around one of these guys, I guess, right? Like that. Then you tuck it in. You have your watch in there. Then you could start putting your knives in. Take your Jaegers. Oops. Another Jaeger. Take your Evo. I guess you could put them in. Might be better to put them in this way, right? Like that. Grab your... Mini Tempest, grab your FSD, and you could grab your Brian Brown, or your uh, Trevor Burger Urban, and lastly, you know what, we'll give ourselves a shout out, we'll put a little stout action in here, like that, there you go, so you got your cool knives loaded out at the top, obviously your keys wouldn't be in there, um, but I could take, say, my current fidget or whatever i'm rocking put that down in here you could put a couple more in here you also again have this spot down here if you want to load that out with something but this is on top so i don't know you know you'd have to i think you would remove this and then just use that to dump instead right you could probably fit your hoback knives quite shetty in there i'm just kidding um but you get the point you could fit a bunch of stuff in there and then you know, you could dump, like, whatever else you have in your pockets. Like, let's say I got my slip joint in my pocket. Drop that in there. You put your wallet in there. Of course, I just have knives, so more knives down there. And you load the baby out. And if you don't have watches, psh, no problem, right? You just take that out put something else in there instead. I mean, you could use this for whatever you wanted. Technically, you could 
make it sort of like a disassembly setup if you wanted to. You could make it more of a charging thing. I don't know if you could run cords in here. That would be cool. Oh, there's an opening. Yeah, there's an opening in the back. So they have it set up, I guess, where you could. Yep, look at that. You could run cords in here and charge stuff as you will, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, this is cool. And then underneath you have that drawer that you could fill out with uh, whatever you wanted um, right here. And that goes deep too, and these come out. So you can, you know, adjust that however you want. Um, downsides to this is obviously the size. It's uh, pretty big. I am one of the people that has a smaller house and I am already out of room. So I don't know where I would put this. Um, I'm looking around right now going, what the heck am I going to do with this? Uh, <laughs> could use it, I guess, instead of my knife case, or I could put it near it. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure this out. Um, but yeah, it's awesome. Obviously, if you are a normal person who has actual space, well, this would be great, wouldn't it? Um, so yeah, I'm going to figure that out, but this is from Caviso Outdoors, and, uh, it's pretty cool. I love how it's got, like, a glass cover. That's just badass, and look at all my cool knives in there. That definitely looks way better than sitting in my Pelican case, so maybe I will just go ahead and figure out a way to use this guy somewhere. Um, do need to get rid of that TV, you know? <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's check out the knife. So we have this Boker Plus. Uh, let me see if I can slide this guy out of the way here. Just give me one second. Ugh, pretty heavy. All right. Zoom back in. Whoops. Like that. There we go. Okay. Sorry, I know that wasn't the uh, best uh, desktop video of that, but caught me by surprise coming back from Blade Show. This is the Boker Plus Kaizen in green and satin. Made in China. They did tell me I could keep this stuff, which is pretty cool. Considering that thing is enormous over there. Normally, I'd be trying to give it away, but um, I don't know. Don't know. Can't really ship it. This is tiny. What is this thing? What the heck is this? Looks like the... Um, look at that flipper tab. It's almost non-existent. <laughs> I was expecting a knife. Not a toy, I'm just kidding. It looks like a CEO knife. The CEO from CRKT. Look how small that is. Uh, right hand only, but it is a clip, but it is a liner lock, and the blade is hidden, so you really you wouldn't have much danger of it. Let's just see how the D10 is. Okay. All right, very, very slim blade. Holy cow, look at this thing. S35, flat grind, no rock, no play. I mean, it's solid. Ergonomic grip. I mean, it's, okay, not ergonomic, but it feels good in the hand, honestly. It's not bad. Action for a tiny little knife like this, pretty good. Flies out of there. It does have some lock stick, but I am venturing to guess that's some oil on there because I can, it's like lathered in oil. It's a very odd flipper. It's just very hidden. I mean, this is very minimal, guys. But it does catch you, and you can uh, get it. If you just break the detent like I showed you earlier, it will fail. But, you know, it's meant to be flicked, and it works just fine in that sense. Shake it. Close it. Yeah, this is actually interesting. I mean, it's not something I would ever buy or probably wouldn't recommend it either, but... Um, you know, if it's your style, I mean, it's dead centered. The The quality here is good. You have a sort of metal pommel lanyard thing at the bottom so you can crush some stuff, you know. Wow, this is weird. Got this disc right here. 
Crazy. This is definitely one I'll uh, probably show my wife and see what she thinks. Uh, just because of how small it is and everything. Uh, the G10 feels really good. It, it almost feels like my Carta. It says green. Doesn't say G10, so it could be something else. I don't know if you can see that micro milling and everything. It's really nice. Just a steel deep carry clip, but that's fine. It's a CEO type knife to go in your front, you know, uh, chest pocket or whatever. And when you need a, a, you know, three and a half inch blade, you got it. Maybe not three and a half, but Let's see how sharp this S35 is. Yeah. Look at that. Oops. I mean, it will cut. So, overall, I'd say this is actually pretty cool. I like it better than the CEO because the CEO is like a little one stud knife. It's just awkward. This is like a little flipper, but it really works. Um, it grabbed your finger really well, you know? Uh, this was sent to me, obviously, by Caviso. I did not pay for it, so take that into consideration. But, um... Yeah, I mean, if you're into this style of knife, I think it's good, is how I would put it. Now, I don't know the price, so if it's like $80, then yeah, that's rough. Um, it is S35, so they're probably going to ask like $80, but um, if this was like 50 bucks, that'd be pretty sick. Um, I will say the, the lock stick is not good. Um, you can see it's at a almost 100% lockup. I don't know how, how do you gauge lock up again? Is it by uh, how far the liner is locked or how far it is along the blade? Because if it's along the blade, then it's only like, you know, 40% or something. So I apologize if I'm wrong about that. But my point is the whole lock bar is engaging the blade. And you can see there, the harder I flick it, the farther it goes and it causes that stick. Um, if I do it lighter, you get less of it and you still get the stick. So that's kind of a bummer. The stick, I tried cleaning the lock face off, but I don't think it's oil. I think it's just bad geometry. Um, steel on steel situation, all that stuff. I don't know. It's not the end of the world. It's not like tough lock stick. It's just the clicky kind. So um, anyway, got some jimping here. Feels good in the hand like this and this. And it's actually pretty ergonomic. Yeah, this isn't as bad as I uh, I thought it was. So, all right, there we go. We got the Boker um, Kaizen. And we have this uh, valet tray thing. That's pretty cool. Uh, so let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Uh, thank you to Caviso Outdoors for sending this stuff along. I appreciate it. I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day. I love you all. And I will catch you later.